Hello and welcome to my FTP tutorial. Today I'll be teaching you how to use a, an FTP client to connect to your web server or game server or whatever server you need to upload or download files or create folders to. And, uh, the software we'll be using for this is a free open source client. It's called FileZilla. I'm going to hop on over to Google, type in FileZilla right there. Just click on that and it should be the very first link. If you want it, if you're lazy, you want to get the link, it's just right in the description. Go ahead and then click on, uh, click on download FileZilla client for all platforms and click on FileZilla underscore 3.2.2.1 underscore 132 setup exe. Just download the recommended link basically and go ahead and just save it to your computer. And when you're done, just execute that exe. And the default config for FileZilla is pretty much already set up. Just hit to press agree and next all the way through and wait for it to finish installing. It's relatively straightforward. All right, and start files on now. Box is already checked, so you can go on and press finish. It'll just take a second or two to just open up since it's the first time initializing. And here's the user interface for FileZilla. As you can see, it's pretty clean, pretty intuitive. On the left here is the local file browser. It's all the files on your computer. On the right is a remote site file browser. This is all the. It'll list all the files on your remote server that you're connecting to. Here's the hostname box and username password port. I wouldn't advise using this for a quick connect uh, because you'll have to re-enter the info every time you open up FileZilla. I recommend heading on over to File and Site Manager or you can press Ctrl S and you can, if you have a game server info and you use TC Admin with that game server host, you can get the FTP info from the control panel or just get the FTP info from your web server or game server host, whatever. And you can enter that in. And the port is default 21, so leave this at 21 unless they specify otherwise. For me, they told me it was 1337, so I had to enter that in. Logon type is usually normal, especially if you use a game server host. You'll just need to use normal username, password. They'll be given to you as well. Just type that in, press connect. And as you can see, it's connected and it's listed to the, it's connected to the remote file server and it's listing the files that are on there. As you can see, it's pretty straightforward to browse through. You can use that dot dot folder to move up a directory and double click on the folders to move into directories. Let's say you want to create a server. Let's say you want to create a, a folder just right click here and press create directory and let's call it let's call it blah 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 or whatever. And there, easily created folder. If you want to delete the folder, just right click on it, press delete, or you can just press the delete button. Just click yes. And let's say you want to uh, upload files to your server. Just go on over to your to your uh, local file browser. Here I'm going to find some match configs to download to upload to my uh, server directory. So I'm going to go over to config and to upload the files. Just I selected all these files by pressing Control A rather than just uploading them one by one. Just I just press Control A and all you have to do is drag the files you selected right into the remote file browser right there. And it should just begin uploading unless, as you can see, I've already uploaded these files onto my server, so I'm just gonna press overwrite, or rather I'll just press skip, since it's already there. It's a pretty straightforward interface to use. Let's say you wanna download files, then you just click on the file that you want from the remote directory and drag it into your local browser and there you go, it's downloaded. 
It's pretty simple. And uh, that's pretty much it for your IFTP tutorial. If you, want, if you have any additional questions, just go on ahead and comment. And uh, thank you for watching.